Hey guys, got another video for you and it's about Litecoin. It's actually massive news about Litecoin. It kind of flew under the radar because all of us have been so focused on the market um, with the market being down and worrying about, you know, what's going to happen. But Litecoin has been flying under the radar, releasing some really positive stuff here, guys. And I think it's going to be huge for Litecoin this year. Now, I know many of you, some of you sold your Litecoin. Uh, some of you lost faith in Litecoin because of what Charlie Lee, the founder, did selling all his Litecoin uh, in early January. And that's also one of the contributing factors to the market being down. One of the negative news, right? Your founder of Litecoin sells all his Litecoin. Uh, but he, like I said, I, in other videos I did, uh, I still have faith in Charlie Lee. I think he's a good guy. Um, and it looks like there's some awesome things coming up here. So Litecoin, um, there are two payment processors that have been, uh, that are going to launch. One is launching this week. So LightPay is launching this week and LightPal is going to be launching later this year. So I'm going to go through what each of those are and why they're important and what's going on. So as mentioned, I believe this is a game changer and massive for Litecoin. With these payment processors, they have just now increased their utility and their adoption potential. So in order for you know your crypto to really have value, there needs to be utility to it. It has to be used for transactions. Um, and Litecoin through LightPay is going to make Litecoin usable anywhere that Visa is. It will convert all payments to and from US dollars immediately. And all deposits will incur a sim simply a flat 1% settlement, settlement charge, 1% as opposed to 3% charged by credit cards. Um, this is according to their official website. And I'm going to put a link to the, the websites in the comments section. So this is lightpay.us. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. Um, obviously, if you're own, you own Litecoin, um, this is huge news. Um, some of you who are looking to for you know potential cryptos to invest in, Litecoin could be a, a, you know, a potential given that the market is down right now, the price is down because it was at an all-time high of like $300 or so, over $300 actually. And, and now it's down to like 100 and something. So there's there's a possibility, guys, Litecoin can really go to the moon, so to speak. Now, really quick, this is not investment advice or financial advice. So do your own research, but I'm just saying what I would do. Just want to make that clear. So here's what, uh, oh man, this guy's name. Palwasha Saim, a research analyst of at Lombardi Financial. Here's what he had to say about this, about LightPay specifically. It would allow businesses to accept Litecoin without worrying about price volatility. Payments would be processed by LightPay instantaneously and settled directly with their banks. Take note that BitPay is currently charging $5 transaction fees for processing Bitcoin transactions that take ages to confirm. Absolutely true. The best part is that Litecoin users will be able to convert Litecoins to dollars and vice versa through their Visa compatible Litecoin LightPay cards, which will be usable at all ATMs or businesses that support Visa payments. Guys, this is huge. Visa is the biggest credit card processor um, out there, and their cards are accepted globally more than American Express, um, Visa, Mastercard are the leaders in that space. So. This is huge, guys. This is really massive, and the transaction fee is low. Now, I, I even know that you know there was talks about and testing done with atomic swaps between Litecoin and Bitcoin. So this could play a factor into that as well, because if Bitcoin, I know they're currently testing and trying to get it on the Lightning Network, but that still hasn't rolled out completely to where um, it's functioning and they've worked out the issues and so forth. But this is huge, guys. I, I, I think some you really need to process this. Where Visa is accepted, you can use your Visa-compatible LightPay cards um, and do that, that uh, convert payments to U.S. dollars immediately. That's huge. So that's LightPay. What is LightPal? So LightPal, taking it directly from a tweet that... Um, the, from their Twitter account, LightPal is a Litecoin first payment processor. We envision a cryptocurrency world where Litecoin is utilized by merchants from all over the world. One streamlined, simple, less confusing process. So not only are 
is the Litecoin Foundation working on helping you to spend your Litecoin and use it. They're working on the opposite end by saying, we're going to help merchants to accept it. Super smart, super, super smart. And that, I think, is the game changer because you're, you're going to right now uh, for businesses. I did a video on this, how businesses can accept crypto. Many of them were, are using Coinbase merchant services where um, you can set up you know, your, the ability to accept crypto via the Coinbase interface. Um, specifically for merchants. And if Litecoin is to say, hey, through the Litecoin Foundation, we're going to do LightPal, make it simple, work directly with us, um, probably lower fees, right? And and they're, 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 people are going to bypass Coinbase and go to, directly to LightPal. So this is huge, guys. I, I I know, but you know, this this hasn't made major headlines, but this is massive. If you think about the potential, because of the of the uh, integration where you know with Visa anywhere Visa is accepted that's massive um, and just here this is the LightPal site so it's LightPal.io I'll put a link in the description so you guys can can read about it um, and here's their official Twitter account where I, I got that uh, um, summary of what what it is and here they say thank you Satoshi Light which is Charlie Lee right the founder. Uh, for creating the LTC that we all love, so this is massive, and and Charlie also tweeted about this and like like uh, Pal and like Pay and so forth. So, guys, th I'm I, I it's, it's, this news is making me rethink some of my strategy around Litecoin because as I've disclosed, I own some Litecoin, so now it, it's making me think. Okay, should I get some more now in the dip because I did buy a few when when uh, you know things were a bit lower. But now it's making me think, should I buy more? Now, I'm not telling you to go buy. You should make your own decision. But it's making, just so you understand what I'm thinking, making me rethink my strategy here. Because if you think about it, it's at a discount right now compared to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so forth. Um, so this is massive. This is massive. And I think there's probably additional things that Charlie's working on, which makes sense now why he sold his Litecoin so that he wouldn't seem uh, it wouldn't seem like he's able to manipulate the price or um, he's able to do some sort of insider trading or whatever it is. Right. Um, so I, I think this is big. I know some of you own Litecoin. So what do you think about this news? Leave your comments in the comment section. If you like this video, please thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos on Litecoin and other cryptocurrencies. I'll talk to you guys later.